making three unique chicken marinades that are going viral right now. Let's go! Mel here reporting live from my kitchen. Well, first up in the video, I'm going to show you an adobo chipotle chicken marinade. It is beautiful and it's a little bit different to your regular taco seasoning. And this marinade is enough for two. In fact, they all are. The second marinade recipe is this green goddess viral salad dressing. I've made it a marinade for chicken and it actually turned out amazing. My daughter just, she can't get enough of it. And the third is a lemon and herb. It's got fresh parsley in it. You are going to love this one. You'll see me use uh, common vegetables between them. And you know, as long as you flavor them differently, I don't think you will get tired of using the same vegetables. We also prepare them differently. I mean by that we're doing a skewer, we're doing a butterfly chicken breast, and we are also just doing a cube chicken. But do note, these are all interchangeable. Use your favorite vegetables, cut the chicken how you like, and the marinade is the queen of the show. Your nutritional information for these three marinades is listed in the description box together with your shopping list. Let's get into these recipes now. This adobo chipotle chicken is so flavorful. It's got the taste of Mexican with cilantro and the sweetness of peppers. To a blender, add one third cup of fresh cilantro and one third cup of sour cream. Then about three tablespoons of red bell pepper, a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, and two tablespoons of adobo chipotle sauce, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a generous pinch of salt and black pepper each. And then blend that all together. I've got one chicken breast here, which on average weighs about 200 grams. I butterflied it by slicing it three quarter way through the middle and now see, it's butterflied. Then I coated the inside and the outside in the marinade and at this point you could place it in a Ziploc bag and freeze, but we are frying this right now. I cooked the chicken over a medium heat and as it was cooking I made sure it had enough marinade on all sides. When the chicken was almost cooked, I added a cup of sliced red cabbage and one zucchini cut into four and spread a teaspoon of the adobo chipotle sauce onto the vegetables to season. Then covered the pan so everything can soften. I made sure the chicken was cooked in the middle and plated it up and just take a look at this. Since this is a meal prep, I made a spare one for later in the week. Have you ever heard of the viral green goddess salad? People are going crazy for it, but sometimes it's just too cold to have salad. So we're switching it up to serve warm. To a blender, add one small shallot, or you can also use 30 grams of red onion, a quarter cup of chives, a quarter cup of basil, and use fresh if you can. Then I added one quarter cup of walnuts, a quarter cup of olive oil, a quarter cup of lemon juice, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of salt. Time to blend that all together and normally this is poured over a salad but I'm telling you with chicken anyway. 
I added one chicken breast to a pan over medium heat and I just cut it into cubes and then added enough of the green goddess salad to cover the chicken. Gave it a stir and covered the pan so the chicken could cook in that sauce. And when it was ready, I just set that aside. I'm going for a warm salad here, so I added a little oil to a pan and added one third cup each of diced zucchini and pumpkin and seasoned it with a sprinkle of basil and chives. Let that cook until it was a little soft, added it to a plate, added the chicken, and on top of that, avocado and Tom Berry tomatoes, which is considered a superfood. And this is what it looks like on a plate. And here is my extra one for later in the week. I feel like a lot of people forget about chicken skewers. They're so easy to make and you can fill that skewer with your favorites. But of course, we are showcasing this gorgeous lemon and herb marinade, so let's do it. To a blender, add one small shallot, one teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of lemon juice, a half cup of parsley, a generous pinch of ground pepper, and one egg yolk. Blend that together for a couple minutes and then set that aside because we are going to set up our chicken skewers. I added chicken, sliced red bell pepper and sliced zucchini and just repeated that until the skewer was full and depending on how long your skewers are, one chicken breast with a few veggies will give you about five skewers. I then poured all of the marinade into a casserole dish and just coated the skewers with the marinade. Pop that into an air fryer at 350 Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius for about 40 minutes, turning them over halfway. And this is how they look. Now tell me, who wouldn't want to eat that? As I said in one of the recipes, you can prepare your marinade, put it in a Ziploc bag together with your chicken and freeze it. And then you are armed and dangerous. If you do get to make them, please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.